Hey guys, it's time to unbox the new Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. This is a pretty attractive phone because it's not using plastic, it's using uh, all metal body and uh, this is the Galaxy J7, the old one. You can see the plastic body here. So on the back uh, we have some specs written of course. It's a nice white box so it says Galaxy J7 Prime. This is the 16 gigabyte model. Uh, we got the the metal build the 13 megapixel slash 8 megapixel front camera 8 megapixel front camera which is which is kind of a new thing here with samsung phones uh fingerprint scanner which is great because we don't get fingerprint scanner on the galaxy j7 2016 uh, then we of course 4g lte this is uh, exynos 7870 octa core chipset 5.5 inch full, H, uh, full HD TFT display, so it's not AMOLED, okay, TFT display. Um, and uh, of course, some uh, same stuff there. So yeah, it does support dual SIM. And uh, this is basically a, a Galaxy J7 2016 on steroids, okay? So display, build quality, everything is, everything is like top notch. So let's quickly open the box here, okay? Normal plastic we have around it. And here we go. And we have another seal, so let's uh, cut it like this. Okay, here we go. And let's see here, pretty nice and easy unboxing nothing complex and this is the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime right there uh, same things metal uh, the camera specs and the fingerprint sensor so let me just pick this phone up okay whoa and we're gonna take a look at this after looking at what else we get from the box so of course some normal paperwork and also these are the uh, <clears throat> the headphones and then the, we get the USB 2.0 charging cable so this phone does not have USB Type-C remember that we have SIM ejecting tool there and we also get the charger which it does not have fast charger uh, thing you know so let me just come on focus okay so yeah it's just a normal charger and that's pretty much it so let's take a look at the phone and this phone of course is not available in the stores officially maybe in india it, it is i don't know but where i live pakistan it's not available officially so it will be pretty soon and the price will be uh around 300 dollars. so yeah it's it's coming at a great price and look at this bad boy wow feels so good I'm just gonna remove this thing on the back okay nicely and you can see that this is absolute premium goodness right there feels so good and the buttons are also clicky you know they feel premium just like you know the HTC 10 so Spooling up Galaxy J7 Prime, and I'm just gonna peel the plastic off the display. So at the bottom, you can see that we get the charging, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and there's no speaker. Okay, the speaker is actually here at the top right corner. So that is actually a new thing from Samsung, and it sounds really well. Okay, try it out on my other J7 you can see then we got the volume rocker and power button and on the top we got nothing and it's coming with two separate trays for the uh, for the sim card as well as the micro SD card so we'll make a separate video on that and uh, let's go through the setup of course this is rocking Android marshmallow I think the Galaxy J7 2016 is on uh, is also on marshmallow I think it just got updated or maybe it comes I don't know I can't remember my memory is like a little foggy so I'm just gonna skip anyway 
Obviously, you can enroll the, the fingerprint sensor right away. So uh, this new home button does have the fingerprint sensor for the J series, which is a pretty good thing. And I think Samsung uh, had to like make make a uh, J7 Prime because the C5 and C7, uh, these phones are like not available worldwide. So I think this phone will be available worldwide. So let's see here. Pretty nice 5.5-inch uh, 1080p display. Of course, uh, it's uh, not super AMOLED, and I can see the difference right away. The colors and everything looks different compared to the super AMOLED displays. And you can see really less applications installed, so very less bloatware. We have the Samsung Notes application. This is not running the latest... Um, latest and the greatest Grace UI, Grace Touches UI from the Note 7. You can confirm that by going into the setting. You can see the old kind of a UI look there, but it will get it eventually. Uh, we have the software information and our 6.0.1. So, uh, Exynos 7870 processor here for the performance, uh, uh, the Melee A23 GPU, so it should fly through everything. Of course, I will be doing speed tests, I'll be doing camera tests, and all the videos that you guys want to see, I will be producing that pretty soon. And let's take a look at the camera, of course. Uh, you can see that normal Samsung type of UI. And you got pro mode, panorama, different stuff, so you can just quickly capture a photo. You can record up to 1080p. You can see here full HD, which is nice. No 4K, but that's okay. It's a, it's a mid-range phone. And and this time, you know, for the price, this phone is actually offering a lot, lots of good, th good stuff, you can say. So also, if we talk about the, let's see here, quick setting area, get all the different modes here, everything, nothing is missing. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison with the Galaxy J7 2016. And you can see they are pretty much equal size-wise. But of course, the choices of material is, uh, it, you know, it makes a lot of difference. So again, I'll be doing an in-depth comparison between these two phones, speed test-wise, as well as camera-wise. So um, yeah, uh, the back feels a lot, more, a lot more better here, a lot more premium with the Galaxy J7 Prime. So yeah, stay tuned for all the coverage and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.